hello guys welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to review the samsung galaxy tab s6 lite 2022 version so let's get started first when you buy the tablet inside the box you will find the cover the tablet the charger the usb a to type c cable earphones and s pen also you will find a warrant card and this manual card and this tab so you can open the sd card slot the tablet comes with a 10.4 inch screen the dimensions are tall the back of the tablet is metal and it comes with one camera in the corner below the tablet you will find the usb type c input and one speaker from above you will find a headphone jack and another speaker on the side you will find the power button above volume buttons and below that you will find the sd card slot and this is the weight of the tablet and the pen is also very light and this is the weight with the whole package the tablet the cover and the s pen so it's not that heavy and also the tablet and the cover are both magnified and you can put the tablet in two different positions on the cover you can change them as you want as you can see in the video also the pen can be magnified to the back of the tablet or the sides or you can just put it on the cover for watching videos on the tablet the screen quality and the colors look very good and it's a very good experience So as you can see the colors and the brightness are good enough for average experience. Also the screen comes with small bezels. So the screen is taking much of the surface area. For multitasking, you can open multiple apps at the same time. You can open two apps in a split screen view. And you can also add a boba window for another app as you want. And everything is very customizable. There's also a feature called Samsung Dex. You can open Samsung Dex by going to the notification bar and just clicking on Samsung Dex. It will transform the tablet from the, from the average interface of the tablet to another interface that looks like Windows where you can open any apps you want and you can minimize and maximize and, and arrange any windows you want for all the tabs and all the apps that are available. And also if you want to add a mouse and a keyboard using OTG or Bluetooth After you finish using the Samsung Dex you can go back by going to the left corner and click on this icon and click on here That will bring you back to the normal tablet interface There's also one more feature called folder lock. It's like when you add another user in Windows, you can make new copies of your apps and it will be like new and you can lock it so no one can access it without the password. Now for cameras, I don't think that anyone will use a tablet for taking pictures or videos but if you are going to use it the front camera is 5 megapixel and the back camera is 8 megapixel and these are some samples of the pictures for gaming if you want to play games on the tablet sometimes it will work fine and these are some samples from PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile I made a longer videos on a whole gameplay for both games you can watch them on the channel if you want so I don't make this video very long but if you want the tablet mainly for playing games, I don't suggest you buy this tablet because there are better options for only gaming like the Apple iPad 9, it will work much better in games but that's if you are going to only play games on the tablet if you want to do a lot of stuff on the tablet and also play games if whenever you want, it will work fine but for only gaming, I suggest you buy the iPad
now for the S Pen. The S Pen that comes with this tablet is not active S Pen, so you can't use Air Actions. But the tablet itself supports Air Actions, so if you want to buy an active S Pen that supports Air Actions, it will work with the tablet. So what you are going to use this pen for? Mainly you are going to use it instead of your fingers, because it's a large screen. Second thing is some shortcuts. When you put the S Pen close to the screen and, and click on the button on the pen, it will open this menu where you can do a lot of stuff like taking a screenshot, opening a certain app, or taking notes. You can try all of them, but I will not show it in this video, so, so the video doesn't become very long. One cool thing is when you are on a closed screen, if you tap on the screen while holding the pen button, it will open a quick note. In this quick note, you only have simple tools like just one pen and few colors. It's meant for taking a quick note so you can type whatever you want. After that, click on save and it will be saved on your notes app, which is Samsung Notes and we will review that just in a minute. Also, when you put the pen close to the screen without touching the screen like one centimeter, it will show you this little dot. This little dot shows you where the pen is pointing. And if you stay with it on a certain icon, it will show you what this icon does, like settings or toolbar or whatever. And the last thing is handwriting. So you can use your pen instead of typing with the keyboard. You can just type at any space with the S-Pen and it will recognize it and transform it to a normal writing now for Samsung Notes first when you open the Samsung Notes app all your notes can be synced with your other devices you can start by adding folders. You can make folders where you can store and organize your notes, like your books and studying or your YouTube channel script or whatever you want. You can click on the three dots and select new folder, name it whatever you want, and select a certain color and click on add, and it will add a new folder. Inside the folder, you can make subfolders or you can just add your notes. You can add your notes directly by act. just click on this note icon and it will open a new note where you can start typing and making your notes. Also, the background of the note is customizable, so you can make it a blank screen with whatever color you want, or you can make it ruled, or you can make it dots. But I'm not going through this right now. If you want, I can make a separate video on Samsung Notes and how to use it. So you can add the note or you can add a PDF like you can add your books and your lectures whenever you want and start studying and you can use it like a normal book in your hand. I can draw with my fingers. If you, you can enable it or disable it from this option here, you can so you can only type with this and if you rest your hand on the screen, it won't interrupt the writing. Then you can scroll by using two fingers, but, but make sure that the pen is a little bit far from the screen so it doesn't interrupt it. Now you have many tools like the keyboard, you can start typing, or you can use the pen tool where you can start drawing or marking or doing whatever you want. You have also a lot of pens and you can use any color. And also above here, there's a stock colors and here you can pick any color and make it so you can access and change your color without going to the pen itself. You can also change the thickness from here. You also have a highlighter. You can also change the color and the thickness from above here, just like the pen. Also, one cool feature is if you start typing any word and click on this tool, it will transform it to a normal text. You can either copy it or convert it. So as you can see, now you can move it just long breath with the rest bin, resize it and move it to wherever you want. You can also click on this far icon that disables the zoom in and zoom out. Also, one thing I noticed, while you are using the tablet and typing, if you rest your hand on the screen, from down here, near to the charger, you feel some heat from here. So you can just avoid that by rotating the tablet, flipping it to the other way by making the camera down and you won't have any heat troubles. As I said, there is a lot of features in this Samsung Notes app. I won't cover it all in this video and I can make a separate video about it. Just tell me in the comments if you want. Now talking about battery life. If you are going to use a tablet for like 3 or 4 hours daily, it may last for the whole week without needing to charge it. 
and as it says here a full charge will last about four days and four hours but it even lasts more than that so from my experience i use it mainly for watching videos and taking notes but if you are going to play online games and playing music and making the screen brightness very high that will make it for like two days or something but on average it will last for a long time before you need to charge it so you can just charge it overnight or something so it may take like three hours with the charger that comes with the tablet But overall, it's a very good experience. Now for using the tablet with other Samsung devices. So first, we start by sharing files. You can use Quick Share, which is a really simple and really fast method to share files between your devices. It's like an Apple AirDrop. So you just select the files you want to share, like it's photos or videos or whatever you want, and go to the tablet, go to the notification bar, and select Quick Share and enable it for all devices. Now on your sending device, just click on Share and select Quick Share. You will have your tablet here, and just click on it, and it will share your files very fast. You can also use nearby share or share it if you want to share apps or something but the best is quick share in my experience it was really fast doesn't have any lags or errors also you can sync all your files and all your notes and apps between your devices also there's a feature that allows you to continue using a certain app on another device just after you leave your phone you can go to your tablet and continue from whenever you stop also the smart view feature that allows you to share your screen to a TV or another monitor or another device There's an app called Samsung Flow When you open the app on both of your devices connect them together It makes it like a WhatsApp chat where you can send your messages and files or photos whatever you want And there's also a cool feature on your tablet if you click smart view you can now mirror your phone screen to the tablet and control your phone from the tablet so if you want to watch a movie or something and you want to watch it on a bigger screen just enable this feature and you can control your whole phone from the tablet this is a really cool feature that i found there's a lot more to cover but not in this video there's a lot of stuff that i didn't mention in this video it's an android tablet so you have access to a lot of stuff and everything is custom and there is no limits to whatever you want to do but I'm not going to show all of that in this video and a lot more stuff like I didn't mention a lot of numbers in this video because I care more about the experience more than numbers so I hope you find this video decent and helpful now let's talk about the price first of all when you are going to buy the tablet to make sure that it's the 2022 version it comes with a different serial number than the 20 version the 2022 version comes with two codes SMB619 which is the 2022 version a Wi-Fi version that doesn't support SIM card and SMP613 this is the 2022 version but with the SIM card and Wi-Fi and the 2020 version comes with the code SMB610 and B615 so make sure to select the correct device before buying the price is around $300 for the base version maybe a little bit higher or lower but the price is really good because the tablet comes with all these stuff the pen and the cover the charger the earphones so it's a whole package in just one price unlike the iPad where you have to buy the separate Apple Pencil for like $100 which is a lot and also for the storage I recommend buying the least storage because you can expand the storage easily I just bought this 128GB memory card for under $10 which is really cheap and, and very easy to use so just buy the smallest storage version and you can expand the storage later if you want so guys that was today's video I think the tablet is really good for the price and what it provides and I'm really happy with it after I changed it I sold my iPad that I have made a few videos about before and it's very good for me and I think it's a good deal so guys that was today's video I hope you found it helpful tell me in the comments if you want any video about any topic or if you want to ask any questions and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time